took two years to collect the artifacts and compile the narratives for this very California story of the Vietnam War. Had you made surfboards before you? I did repairing the surfboards. Repairing? Back, yeah. But you'd never made one from scratch Not from before. scratch, yeah. Bruce Blandy was in the Navy in 1969, stationed near the border with North wow. Vietnam. He fashioned his own boards from supplies used to repair river craft. A lot of Vietnam, especially for Vietnam veterans, we, uh, we feel a little bit, especially when we first came back from the war, we felt underappreciated. So this is part of the history of Vietnam. Many of them didn't realize that there were others surfing along the coast of Vietnam or knew that there was surfing at China Beach, the place where they sent wounded soldiers to recover and some soldiers for R&R. &R. So they built a, the lifeguard headquarters, stocked it with boards, kept somebody on duty. Rick Matthews was drafted in 1969. He grew up on the California coast. He surfed in Vietnam only once. It was getting back in the water again that helped bridge that gap between the that surreal experience that was war and the life you had left behind and the life you wanted to leave. It was a way to bridge that. It was like it was a therapy. The exhibit is part of the official celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Vietnam War. Vietnam veterans who attend will receive a pin from the Department of Defense. Steve Walsh, KPBS News. Colin Powell has one of those.